Yeah, notice, I like monkeys, also cats. Now that we know what all of these different monkeys are, let's start to talk about how they behave and how their environment affects their behavior. Now, we're gonna start talking about primate behavioral ecology. Behavioral ecology is the field of where we're looking at the evolution of behavior, how, evo uh, how behavior has evolved and changed over time. Here, we emphasize the environment and ecological factors um, shaping all of these behaviors. What this really means for our purposes right now is we wanna understand the environment and how that environment affects the behavior of different primates. Within sec this section, we have a couple different goals. We're gonna start off talking about different environments, then we'll talk about primate diets, and lastly, we'll talk about foraging strategies for how they obtain their food. But first, let's look at all of these beautiful habitats that primates live in. Um, primates mostly live in tropical biomes or tropical environments. Um, tropical just means it's within the Tropic of Cancer to the more north and Tropic of Capricorn to the south. You can see there is a pretty decent amount of land that falls within this, but that is mostly within South America and Africa. There's a little bit of Asia as well, as well as a little bit of Central America. The most common place we find primates are tropical rainforests. All this means is it's a rainforest, in, has a lot of rainfall, and it's also in a tropical latitude. You can see at this tiny map here at the bottom um, showing where all of those tropical rainforests are in the world. What's interesting about tropical re rainforests is there, there aren't seasons, it, there's just rain. It's rainy and slightly more rainy at different times of the year. And what's cool about this is this means throughout the year, there will always be at least one tree with fruit. It'll be a different type of fruit at different times of the year, but fruit is available year round. In these tropical rainforests, we have um, complex structure within the trees because there is just so much vegetation going on. At the top, we have our canopy. In the middle, we have the mid-level and lastly, the understory. Um, different primate species will live in different levels and each level of the rainforest is very different. The canopy is, has a lot of light and the understory is actually quite dark. Um, that's because the canopy and all of the trees above it um, take up bl and block all of the light. One of my favorite trees that you can find in some tropical, tropical rainforests are strangler figs. And these are the preferred home tree for my favorite primate, the tarsier. Strangler figs, um, they have airborne seeds that hopefully um, find themselves in the nook of a tree somewhere off the ground. And gradually that fig will just grow around and literally strangle the tree it grows around. Um, and eventually the host tree will die and rot, leaving a hollow structure. Tarsiers particularly like this because now there are multiple exits and entrances, so it's easy for them for them to get away if something wants to eat them. Another environment you may find primates are tropical seasonal forests. So we're still within the tropics, but now we have more variable rainfall. So it is a slightly different environment than a true rainforest. Um, and some trees will lose their leaves. You can find some deciduous trees here. Um, and the canopy is less extensive. So you're gonna, gonna see a little bit more sunlight reaching through those trees to hit the ground. We also find primates in a savanna. A savanna um, is a grassland with a few trees and shrubs. There is definitely not any semblance of a closed canopy. Um, and while there are several different savanna environments throughout the world, we only find primates in the African savanna. And we get gorgeous pictures like this. So you can see there are a fair number of trees, but they aren't close together and there is sunlight everywhere. There are a couple other tropical biomes where we find primates. Um, you might find them in woodlands, thornwoods, and shrublands. So that's, you know, kind of halfway in between the forest and savanna. You'll see in that top picture here, we have uh, a few more trees than we saw in that savanna. Um, we also might see um, semi-desert scrubs. So that's kind of halfway in between a desert and a savanna. So now there's a lot less grass. And while there are trees, they're a little bit more far and few between, and they definitely don't have as many leaves on them. Um, some other tropical biomes that we might find primates are um, water-based habitats, so coastal regions, mangroves, swamps, or rivers. 
We do also find some primates in bamboo forests. Here's our cute little bamboo lemur chomping away on his bamboo. Um, this guy is adapted to eat bamboo, which has cyanide in it. So he is a type of specialist um, who doesn't have much uh, competition for what he wants to eat. And while most primates are in these tropical habitats, we do find some primates um, going into temperate habitats a little bit farther from that tropical zone. So these are Japanese macaques. We also see Barbary macaques. And these guys, you can see, live in places cold enough that it does snow in the winter. Um, Japanese macaques are famous because they like to keep warm by uh, <laughs> uh, waiting in the hot springs in northern Japan. Um, here we have a couple more um, primates in a temperate habitat. So you can see this looks a little bit more like the vegetation we're used to since we live in a uh, temperate zone. Um, so there's, you know, big deciduous trees and a little bit of grass going on. You can also find leaf monkeys or langurs in a couple of temperate habitats. Again, looks a little bit more similar to what we're used to. Here you will find deciduous trees um, and for uh, four seasons. Um, and here are just some more leaf monkeys. So you can see they're actually living in winter. So to put this all together, um, primates are pretty widespread and there are a lot of different habitats, but some conclusions we can draw. They, they don't like the extreme cold. Sure, some of them live in snowy regions, but you don't find them in Russia. Uh, and primates do like trees, no matter where they are. Some of them live where, in areas where there are fewer trees, but by and large, primates are arboreal. Um, and overall, most primates do live in the tropics. So can you explain where do different primates live?